my name is Julia Gonzalez and I welcome you to my channel. This week, I'm bringing you seven great eats in Mexico City. That's right, I spent some time in Mexico City and there are so many, so many amazing places to eat when visiting. So if you're planning a trip to Mexico City and you're just not sure where you wanna eat, then look no further, this is the list for you. So without further ado, in no particular order, here are seven great eats in Mexico City. Oh my God, that's really good. Number one, Contramar. Located in the Roma neighborhood of Mexico City, Contramar is a very popular restaurant. Contramar started with the owner wondering why she couldn't get great seafood in the city. Hence, Contramar was born. I would recommend trying their quesadillas. Yeah. Oh. Holy crap. This is delicious. Also, because they're known for fresh seafood, we ordered the fried fish tacos and ceviche. So what can you expect to pay? Well, we had two micheladas, we had the quesadillas, the ceviche, and the tacos, and our total was $50. Number two, El Tizanzito. El Tizanzito has over 10 locations in Mexico City. I'm taking you to one of their two locations in the Condesa neighborhood. Inspired by the toy top and the shawarma, El Tizanzito has mastered the El Pastor taco. Marinating pork loin and adding two onions to the bottom and one pineapple to the top, you're gonna love their tacos. All right, and also the trick in, in Mexico is your mouth moves, the taco doesn't. <laughs> Um, it's also spicy, but it's sweet because of the pineapple. So you get the sweet and savory taco. It's <laughs> Not only are the tacos delicious, the bill is easy to swallow as well. We paid just $12 for two beers and four tacos. Number three, Antolina. Also located in the Condesa neighborhood, they are known for elevated dishes, craft beers, and mezcal cocktails. It's a cozy restaurant offering indoor and outdoor seating. While an item could be a simple staple, there's a wide array of regional ingredients at play to elevate but not overcomplicate their dishes. We started with the guacamole. I know, simple enough, but this particular one was exceptional. <laughs> I like how they added peanuts to it. I've never seen peanuts put into a guacamole. Look at that. I ordered the Toluda, which consists of a toasted tortilla, refried beans, asiento, lettuce, avocado, Oaxaca cheese, and salsa. Typically, it can also include meat. It can be beef, chorizo, pork, or chicken. So for our bill here at Antolina, I had one fancy cup. Sale, guacamole, the Toluda, and a hamburguesa, and the total was $50. Number four, located in the Polanco neighborhood of Mexico City, Jacinta is known for nostalgic specialties. We knew this was the place to visit when wanting to try the mole. With a large selection of tequilas and mezcals, you can sit back and relax in their trendy atmosphere. We ordered the cochinita pipil, which is a slow roasted pork dish. Ours came with mole, pipion, rice, and a side of beans. After shredding the pork, it's time to load up my tortilla. What I really came here for was this mole. This is the mole. After we tried it the other day at the market in a powder form, I would like to try it in its real form. Oh, well good. The 
The mole has like a sweetness to it. So it's a really good combination with the pork. A lot of flavor. So good. So for our bill here at Jacinta, where we had the gordita, the roasted pork, with the mole, the sauces, and the rice, our total was $55. Tonight we're at Agua y Sal. Sal? Sal? <laughs> Agua y Sal. And it's in the Polanco district. They are known for their ceviche and fresh seafood inspired by the Caribbean and South America. While the inside seems a little more upscale, the outdoor seating is less intimidating and we felt very comfortable. Cheers. Here at Agua y Sal, they start you off with blue corn tortillas and three different dipping salsas that range from mild, medium, to hot. Mm, really good. Oh, but it's spicy. That's not supposed to be the spicy one. We enjoyed their ceviche appetizer, which provided a sampling of four different types of ceviche flavor combinations, including the mango shrimp. Sweet mango shrimp ceviche. Oh my god, that's really good. The mango is a really nice touch. It has a hit of a um, little bit of spice, but not overpowering. And that the mango is the main. Oh, that's good. Really for our appetizer of four different ceviches here at Agua y Sal, it was $22. Number six, Campo Baja. Located in the Roma neighborhood, Campo Baja is known for the refined fish dishes and cocktails. And it makes my best eats list not only because the food is amazing, but the atmosphere is so romantic. Oh, it's so romantic. We ordered the fish ceviche, and as you can see, it has tomatoes, red onions, cilantro, and pepper, marinated in lime juice. Let's give it a try. <laughs> wow, that is really good. If you aren't really into fish, you could also try some tacos or a gordita. So for our bill here at Campo Baja, we had the tostada, the ceviche, the tacos, and the gordita, plus a pair of margaritas, and our total was $55. Number seven, Choraria El Moro. If you think you can't come to Mexico without trying the El Pastor tacos, you can't leave without stopping at El Moro. El Moro's roots run deep all the way back to 1933 when Francisco Iriarte immigrated to Mexico City from Spain. Churros were not being sold, so he set up a cart sharing part of his culture with the Mexican people. El Moro is a generational business and is still family owned to this day. Okay, so here we are. We have an original churro here. This wonderfully delicious treat will only run you $3. Well, that concludes this week's video. If you like travel, if you like food, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos from places like Argentina, Greece, Italy, oh, Peru, <laughs> Peru. So please hit that subscribe button and until next time, enjoy your travels. Lord, you totally killed that shot. I do love it. Okay.